Welcome to the channel. The way we use computers is changing. We no longer rely solely on local devices. Our files, applications, and even entire operating systems are moving to the cloud. But with corporate cloud services, there's always a cost, privacy concerns, data control, and platform restrictions. What if you could have the convenience of a cloud OS without sacrificing control? Enter Pewter OS, a powerful, open-source cloud operating system that you can self-host. Unlike services like Google Drive or Dropbox, Pewter gives you complete ownership over your data while offering a seamless and feature-rich experience. With Pewter, you get a fully functional browser-based operating system that lets you store files, install apps, and even run web-based games. It's lightning fast, extensible, and designed with privacy in mind. Whether you want to use it as a personal cloud, a remote desktop environment, or a web development platform, Pewter adapts to your needs. One of its standout features is the ability to publish folders directly as websites, making it incredibly easy to turn any directory into a live web page. This means you can share content instantly without needing external hosting services. If you don't want to self-host, Pewter also offers 100 megabytes of free cloud storage for anyone who registers, giving users a chance to explore its capabilities without setting up their own server. Setting it up is straightforward. You can deploy it on your own server or even host it on your local network, keeping full control over your data. For developers, it offers customization options and integrations, making it an ideal platform for self-hosted web apps. Pewter OS is a real alternative to proprietary cloud solutions, built on open standards and designed for freedom. If you want to explore it, check out the official repository on GitHub and try setting up your own cloud-powered workspace. The future of cloud computing doesn't have to be centralized. With open source projects like Pewter, it can be yours to control. Thanks for watching.